So we were off last week and we did not get to discuss R. Kelly um, and R the R.B. singer R. Kelly being placed on suicide watch in federal prison. Last week, R. Kelly was sentenced to 30 years on racketeering and sex trafficking charges, but his lawyer claims that he is not suicidal and was only placed on the watch because he is a well-known and high-profile celebrity. Now, accusations against the singer date back nearly 30 years, but in 2019, the docuseries Surviving R. Kelly renewed public interest in his crime. So for more on this, we are joined by women's rights attorney Tamara Holder. Tamara, thank you so much for, for joining us. Uh, we have so many questions. Jeff, why don't you take it away? All right, so Tamara, what are your thoughts? Let's get right into this on the 30-year sentence. Was this a fair sentence in your mind? Yes, I think it is. I think that what we're seeing in America right now is a sea change where bad guys are going to get sentenced and they're going to be sentenced for a lengthy period of time. If you look at just a matter of years ago, we have Roman Polanski who sexually assaulted women in the Hollywood Hills and he was able to escape. And now we're seeing this moment where, where bad guys are going to be prosecuted and they're going to be put away for a very long time, if not for the rest of their lives. Well, you know, first of all, thank you for being here. Speaking of a long time, why did this take so long? Right. Like the accusations against R. Kelly have gone back well almost into my teenage years. So why now? Well, that's a good question. I think that uh, I remember I started my law career at 26th in California, which is one of the largest criminal justice systems in the country here in Chicago. And he I was, was working a temp job at 26, by the way. <laughs> you were doing way so better. We were probably there. Yeah, we were probably there. Uh, and, and he, this was, you know, 10, 15 years ago, and he had a, a criminal trial there, and uh, he was found not guilty. Uh, there, were, there were whispers about witness tampering. There were whispers that people were paid off so that yeah. the victims did not show up to court. Whatever the reason is, there are all of these ways that rich and powerful, abusive men and institutions that protect them right. get away with uh, harboring criminal, uh, criminal acts and and guys. And so now what we're really seeing with the Maxwell sentencing last week uh, and like with R. Kelly, that these times are going to change. And I'd like to point out, um, R. Kelly was married to Aaliyah when she was 15 years old. Right. Think of the institutions that protected him and allowed him to do this. The music executives, the, the people around him, so, um, you know, it, it's it was, now it's it was gross. It was gross. And just really quickly, well, you a little, have a 15 year old. Can you I, imagine? I have a 15 year old daughter. And not only did he marry Aaliyah at 15, he also made her release a single called Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. That was like happening in yeah. our society. Right. So and we bought that out. It's amazing. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. Like and un, supported it's him. hiding in plain sight. So before you go, I got to get your take on Ghislaine Maxwell. She was sentenced to 20 years for aiding Jeffrey Epstein, of course, in his sex trafficking scheme. What are your thoughts on this sentencing? And why didn't she talk? Right. If she knew something, would she have talked? Well, I think that, uh, you know, who knows, right? There are the conspiracies and then there's just the, not even a conspiracy. I'm not here to defend anybody, but the Clintons and the uh, very rich and powerful men who were surrounding Jeffrey Epstein and maybe involved themselves. We don't know why that information didn't come out, but I think that it certainly would have come out uh, prior to sentencing and, and it didn't. Again, who knows why we can all speculate, but I think again, this is a message to people who are around bad guys and who participate in bad behavior that if you uh, know something and you don't do anything about it and in fact engage in this kind of behavior, whether you're not, you're a victim, she said that she was a victim of Epstein, he was manipulative and cunning and whatever. The rules are now going to apply people to people who are rich and famous. And if you abuse people, we are going to find you and we are going to lock you up for the rest of your life. It just, Long it, overdue. it seems like we protected our Kelly for 30 years and it seems like some of those protection is still in place for certain people. Yeah. That's right. all I'm saying. Yeah. But hey, right. we're one, you know, one step at a time and yeah, I'm exactly. glad that finally they're being held accountable to a degree. I hear what you're saying. Tamara, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. To learn more about Tamara and the work that she is doing, check out her website, TamaraHolder.com. We'll be right back. Thank right. you so much. Thank you. Thank you.